Hey guys, welcome to Crusader Kings 2. I am going to play as Desmond, and while this looks like an easy start, it really isn't this time, because this isn't the usual 1066 Tutorial Island start in Ireland, but this is 867. The old gods are still strong and their warriors are still mighty. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to fight Vikings and yeah, pretty much everyone and their mothers here to alone gain control of the island, let alone become a power to be reckoned with. Yeah, what is going to be my goal? I'm going to try to somehow survive the first years without getting eaten up by raiders and regular Vikings trying to conquer me. And yeah, on the long term, maybe become the Empire of Britannia, but we're going to see where the game in the end will turn out. Uh, this is the first time for yeah, some time that I'm actually playing Crusader Kings 2, uh, taking a long break, and so some game mechanics may surprise me once again. I think I don't have done the game since Righteous of India came out. Um, yeah, and sorry in case that my language isn't perfect, I'm not a native English speaker, but I am playing the game in English, so it's way easier for me to play, uh, to also talk in English. So, um, our starting situation really isn't that great, but it could be worse. Um, We've got a pretty mediocre starting character, and um, he is randomly generated, but it really, really could be way worse. Um, with an acceptable stewardship, um, pretty mediocre learning, intrigue and martial are rather bad, and diplomacy is yeah, more of a catastrophe, but I'm going to try to improve this. Um, the only really good thing is that we have a claim on the Petty Kingdom of Taura, so I think those two provinces, yes. Uh, we won't be able to take them on in the extremely early game, but I think a bit later it should be possible. I'm going to start with the ambition to get married, it will bring me 10 piety, but while this is not much, it is at least something. I'm also going to educate my grandson myself, so um, just because I want to have a good ruler in two generations. Uh, yeah, I know it is really everything but roleplay, and maybe I'm going to start to roleplay a bit in later generations when I get a bit of a power base, but the current situation wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be a good idea simply because I'll have to do anything to not get eaten up by Vikings in uh, the first two decades. So, and I'm going to arrange a marriage with uh, some girl with high diplomacy. And I think I'm going to take this nice girl named Judith. And she is a relative of the Welfs, who in reality became pretty important in the later Holy Rome Empire. Not sure if they ever were emperors, but they were pretty important. Uh, my ear, hair, to be honest, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, is a bit of a better person, but still not someone great. I will have an interesting time playing as him, probably. And I think I'm going to marry him to uh, this princess of Asturias. So I am going to get a bit of an alliance out here, I hope so at least. And yeah, just uh, before I start the game, I think I'll send my Chancellor towards Tomont. Or maybe I'll look if I no, can't get a better Chancellor, sadly. So I will try to get a claim here soon and as soon as possible um, annex this count next to me. Yeah, I want Royal Aid Duty simply because I will need every money I can get in this early game. And if we're already on the way, we'll 
get another ambition which will be to improve diplomacy. I will later on also take the ambition to uh, become king but um, probably rather shortly before I'll actually become king of Ireland simply because uh, unlike if I'd be playing a pagan I am not going to get any more benefits than the thousand gold uh, what am I talking about thousand gold, thousand prestige so and here yeah, apparently one of my courtiers, courtiers to be honest also don't know how to pronounce this uh, has been annoying my wife and she took some matters in her own hands um, hmm. and I think I'm rather going to keep my relationship with her up than with some far out kinsman of mine this uh, yeah just simply because I want my wife to love me as it has to be yeah and my grandson needs some talk about kindness apparently so um, he will hopefully should yeah so he will uh, become a, a good diplomat diplomat uh, one day um, because I will probably need this when I have to manage a uh, bigger realm and I think I am going to try some pleasures here in this when simply because the prestige and the fertility are something that can and will be uh, useful so and here I'm seeing uh, some event caused by my cynical ness I think and yeah I pre expressed my views on the whole religion and god thing a bit loud and get into a lot of trouble with a priest yeah well how sad not like I'm actually going to need the piety right now this will change later on um, but I think I'm in a situation where I still can get around with everything um, and here we also see that Northumberland is already destroyed Sudreviar has now taken control of the territory here and we also discovered a plot where some guy with an unpronounceable uh, Irish name seeks to kill another guy with an unpronounceable Irish name. Um, oh, damn, this kinsman is trying to kill my son, one arsehole. Um, and he really, in my opinion, has to uh, stop plotting. I'm not going to do very much against him right now, simply because uh, yeah, he might, if I imprison him, he might get imprisoned, but on the other hand, he might also flee to another court and try to become an adventurer to get this title here, and I really don't want this to happen. Yeah, and another went concerning uh, hedonism or celibacy. And I think I am going to go for more fertility. I'm not really giving that much of a damn about uh, any temple vessel opinion. Simply because I only have one right now and he's a baron tier, so yeah, not really interesting. My son, luckily, right now has had another child. So I don't think I'm going to have problems with the succession. Hopefully, I'll have primogeniture until then. Um, yeah, and another good news. I now have a claim on Tomond. Um, I'm probably not going to use it. He doesn't have any allies uh, for the next time. But this will make the situation better. And always those wants about hedonism. And I think I'm going to go with hedonism once again simply because I need the fertility yeah and I think I'm going to move my Chancellor now forward to Ormond uh, if I could get a claim there it would be very very great but I'm not sure about this um, and uh, do I really want to get trained hedonist uh. I'm really, really not giving a single damn about PRT. Um, or if I get something, do I need PRT to create a duchy? 
No, I don't. Okay, uh, in this case, hedonism is great, and I will be able to use the fertility quite great, uh, though I forget that I could also get another sun, which would be what I exactly would want, because then I would need to have a duchy before I die, and I'm not sure that this will be possible. So, my chancellor just died, and apparently he died of period of illness and wasn't assassinated by the Earl of Ormond. So I'm going to have to stick with an even worse chancellor right now. Which isn't that good. Um, but I think I'm going to send him to Suteravia to improve my relations with Ewa the Boneless. So I hopefully can get him to keep away from my land for some time. Uh, because this would be really really bad if I would get invaded by him and it would almost surely mean the game over for me. And the Magyars are nomads not more, not like I'd really much care right now. And... Yeah. Though I'm interested what Hungary is going to do if they are going to blob in the east I may have going uh, me I am maybe going to get some problems because I have seen them really blob out of control and if they get to Rome there might be problems with, uh, with the moral authority and a bad event I attended a great party and damn it I'm a drunkard now yay how nice cost me some stewardship. I really need to get my next character character. Or if possible oh what do I see here? Ah oh, nice. An enemy here that has depleted its Lewy 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 I think. So um three hundred twenty four units it is enough to capture this and he still doesn't have any allies really looks like a child, doesn't she? Well, anyway, and 18 and 69 years old. This is Crusader Kings 2 like it has to be. So, I think I'm going to declare war now, and this may be a hard fight, but I can hope to win it. So, time to claim Tomont, and... Fuck, I need to lose 100 piety. Damn it, right. Uh, so I will. Uh, he's right now fighting against an um, Heathen. So I think someone's invading Mercia here. This will. Uh, so I would need to have 100 piety to uh, attack him in this case, which I really don't have. And. Oh, my grandson is getting humble. Oh, how nice. Um. And what I am going to do is now just simply wait and then wait Tomon. And yeah, I'm going to have to see how I will continue from then on. Maybe go for Terra. It is at least a possibility. Uh, the best case would of course be if I could get uh, 150 gold for uh, some mercenaries. Can I borrow money from the Jews already? I could actually. Hmm. Uh, I think I'll keep this for a bit later. If just in case I couldn't get Tomon down, I would probably then uh, use some gold from the juice and maybe, although I know it's gamey, me, um, yeah, just expel them afterwards. And yeah, I also know it happened in history, and still in game, it's a gamey move. Not more and not less. And what do I see here? An Frisian king that liberated the country from Lombardia. This is interesting, and I really didn't expect that. I'll be uh, interested how this develops. Maybe the callings are going to fall sooner than in history, which wouldn't be bad. Um, just simply because then the risk for a big super blob in Europe, in Central Europe, would be lowered. Though it might then become risky because the Norse and 
maybe also the Hungarians could profit from this. I'm really going to have to see how this will turn out. And so, I now have a third grandson. And four grandsons. Twins. Yay. So, um, I think I'm going to need Primogenitia. Pretty, pretty soon. Um, yep, I'm probably going to do this as soon as possible. Because otherwise I'll be in deep, deep trouble when uh, the succession after my son hits. And my grandson will not become content. This is sure. This would make my life so much harder. And I really don't want this to happen right now. So... Tomont is getting in pretty big trouble, and not only they are getting in pretty big trouble. Goatland seems to be in the mood for raiding my country down. I'm so fucked right now. Um, and I, to be honest, I don't want to get my mercenaries right now. I think I'm going to have to simply let them raid my country, as sad as it is. And I will take revenge. Goatland, you will be remembered. I will pillage you down. And you will... Uh, what did I want to say? Yeah, just, they will be fucked one day. So, um, now I'm just going to wait for this raiders to go away from Tomon. And then I think I'm going to attack them. Oh god, so a completely destroyed country that I'm going to gain now soon. And yeah, now they are going to be in trouble. And I hope I can get them down without um, raising up any mercenaries. And my wife is going to uh, get another child in nine months. This is good to know. So, I'll... Which means we are actually sieging this. Though it will take some time as our force is only marginally greater than the force that is defending right now. So, um, and now my grandson has a chance to gain ambitions. This is extremely great and will make life easier in a few decades. So, I am having the chance to either gain glutinous or temperate, and I am going to go for temperate. Uh, on the one hand, I can pronounce it way easier, and on the other hand, uh, I would need the stewardship, I need the church opinion, I need the same trade opinion. It will make life easier, and as this is right now not actually Tutorial Island, but more Viking Island 2.0, I need everything that makes my life easier. I have already captured the castle and in the torment and probably going to capture the city of Limerick soon too. And this will all become easier then. So now I get some courtiers from uh, Scotland who are still fighting against uh, Sudor of Yadir. And, oh, god, my daughter-in-law wants to kill me. Bad girl, really bad girl, I should punish her. Uh, but I'm just going to make her end the plot. And... I will... You cannot stop me. I will eventually... Interesting. Looks like she... Uh, to be honest, I've never seen the text before. Uh, you will... This really sounds like she just waiting for the right time to kill me. One asshole. So, really nice. And I can get my second county. Good news. I'll just uh, dismiss my personal Lewis and I'm probably now simply going to wait, or am I going to wait for 202 gold? I'm going to have to think about this for a short time. I could now also use the money from Jewish merchants. Oh. 
would at least be an idea. Creating a monster and snatching Ormond and probably also Terra. Though, what I'm just realizing, um, snatching Ormond may not even be, uh, creating monster may not even be the best idea. As I'm still not having Prima Genitia and I'm not sure for how long I am going to live anymore. So, I am probably, now I'm still planning to get those 300 gold from those Jewish merchants. And I am going to attack, oh shit. I've got, mm, he's got many, many allies. I'm going to take the risk. What would this game be without risks? Um, I think I am going to take the Britain Company. Or am I? Do I really need that many soldiers? I mean, I've got Tyrone. Tyrone doesn't have many. Scotland is mostly still looted. Ah, come on. Um, rather safe than sorry. And get those units directly to Tormund and then declare war as soon as the moral is high up. But I only get around 10 months, uh, more than 10 months, 15 months maybe to destroy them and then I'll be completely out of money and this won't be a thing I would like to see because then I might get actually attacked by my own mercenaries and this would be uh, would go horribly horribly wrong so no it's no fun time to attack Terra and do I have any lowies here no I don't then the only thing I can do is to get my 317 units from Desmond itself and simply be as fast as possible here. Um, possibly also, before I'm doing anything, destroy those 40 soldiers simply to give me a better starting position. Um, because every 40 soldiers now are soldiers I don't have to kill later. And on the other hand, apparently, I am going to have Yuland next to me in a very very short time and I'm getting nervous here. Maybe might be no I'm not going to become a vessel of them and this is on one hand for the reason because I can't in a short time anymore. Oh interesting I've got a prisoner here. Don't know why to be honest. But I could also just sell her back. No, I can't simply because uh, the Earl of Sorry doesn't want her, but I'm going to be restful and just leave her under house arrest now. Come on, I can't say no to such a pretty girl. So my grandson is apparently wants to become arbitrary, but not with me. I need a good ruler, because it is getting interesting slowly, with Ormond probably soon becoming part of one of the Viking countries and this is yeah now now I am in trouble and I am in big trouble um, yeah I think this let's play might become shorter than I imagined simply because I'm rapidly uh, running out of money and so I'm going to call in my ally the king of Asturias. Oh, interesting. This always uh, has already split up almost historically. This makes the situation rather interesting. But yeah, um, I'm rapidly running out of money and I have Vikings pretty much directly next to me. Um, I'm not sure if I so if I can't win this war over the course of the next 10 months I am going to lose and maybe this attack was something that I shouldn't have done but no um, everything's still okay Tara doesn't have a really big army so right now it's just about probably 
finding the right situation to disband my mercenaries because I'm not being able to keep them up for uh, long enough. And a soldier named Anna, new girl, interesting. Have to look at this. Or is this just an Irish name? Yeah, it's just an Irish name that sounds slightly girly. So, and here's another army, this time from, uh, from Gwynedd, and I am going to try to intercept them before they reach Kildara, but I'm right now feeling that this will go horribly wrong, the whole war. And, my god, my son is trying to kill me. Hmm. Maybe he's just going to end the plot. And, good. And I've got a third son. This is so going downhill right now. Yeah, um, anyway, failed attempts are just attempts where you can learn from. And so I get a battle trade. What am I going to do? I am going to learn to inspire. I think more defense is never bad. Um, sorry to all you guys who probably know it better. I really haven't played Crusader Kings 2 for a long time. And my grandson becomes patient. Nice. Great to know. Uh, just now, it would also be great if my country could survive for longer than the next maybe 10 minutes. Um, I'm still slightly in the positive. I can fight for two more months. Oh, cool. Now I love my life. Good to know. Which this will make my life more and only slightly easier. But I'm going to be. Uh, I can't pay my mercenaries anymore from a few days on now. So I think I'm going to order an assault. If this will go well, I may be able to win the war. Or maybe not if the soldiers simply say fuck you to me. So I'm in problems. I'm in big, big problems. Um, yeah, we are going to have to see how this will continue. Um, okay, my son should educate my other grandson. Uh, I need to get money and units from some place, pretty much not caring where. But as this is going right now, I am com yeah, I am completely fucked. So can I get a white piece out of this? So essentially this went as wrong as it ever could be, but I am not going to... Am I going to start again? Yeah, I'm probably going to start again. I will still upload this. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am yeah, maybe going to do another video in this rather hard start. Or maybe I'll uh, decide differently and will continue this video. Um, but. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it went horribly wrong. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, just leave a like there, and see you next time.